supply chain concerns tonight following Helene and the expected impact of Hurricane Milton. Fox 2's Jeff Bernthal is live in St. Peter's tonight where the St. Charles County Ambulance District is monitoring health care supplies in our area. Jeff. That's right, Mandy. We're outside the district's headquarters. That's where they're able to keep a close eye on those supply levels, especially IV bags, because many of them are produced from a factory in North Carolina that's had to shut down because of hurricane damage. IV bags are used to administer what can be life-saving fluids. The St. Charles County Ambulance District is working with area hospitals and public health agencies to monitor current supply levels. So right now in the area, it sounds like everybody's doing pretty well with what they have stock. Um, we're, we're looking at other opportunities to increase that stock so we can make sure that we're prepared as a, as a region to be able to take care of everyone. Mitch Milstein, a professor of supply chain management at UMSL's College of Business, is keeping a close eye on ports that could be affected by this latest hurricane. And that's the part that nobody's really talking about, is the effect that this hurricane could have on our port infrastructure, which has been built out and very important to our economy. He says a worst case disaster could cripple ports vital to importing and exporting a wide variety of goods, including food. You ready for the big word? It's inflation. Back in St. Charles County, the ambulance district is doing what it can to ensure supply levels are not depleted. We try to not impact patient care, but we are very careful as to who actually receives the supplies. So if you don't necessarily require it for your care, we might back that off a little bit, give you a little bit less of the fluid if you're not needing the fluid replacement. And coming up on Fox 2 News at 10, another major event that has helped agencies like this one and others prepare for the supply chain concerns we're experiencing now. Reporting live from St. Peter's, Jeff Bernthal, Fox 2 News.